Hey Dan, happy Saturday. This is Scott Grossberg. I saw your post on Facebook and I wanted to take some time out from my other filming to answer your question and I wanted to do this by way of video rather than just posting something and writing because I think it'll make more sense. It's a very visual way of handling what you've brought up. So for those listening and just as a reminder to you, what you posted was, here's a question. How does one go about finding that one goal to focus on and achieve and then you had three little subparts to that which one to start with out of so many separating wants versus needs and then being realistic and you put in parentheses not all health issues are resolvable let me start with I'm going to create a longer video of this very topic for you and everybody else and I'll post it on a Sunday not this coming Sunday uh, and it will I, I think explain a whole lot more of my approach to setting goals because I'm a goal focused target heat seeking missile uh, when it comes to getting things done and I know that the techniques and strategies and systems that I use work I've taught them to a lot of people and they are tried and tested I'm going to share with you just a small portion of it uh, right now so that you've got something this weekend to work with the other thing I get I get it is that most of us in this group, being magicians, have what's called a renaissance mind. Much like da Vinci, we have lots of interests in lots of different areas, and they tend to overlap, they can get overwhelming, you just think about them, your head wants to explode. I've been there. So I developed what I'm about to show you after doing a lot of studying on getting things done techniques and project management techniques, this is what I find actually works the best. And it's just as simple as you write everything down. Everything down that you want to achieve. You don't worry whether it's a want or a need. It's you write everything down. You purge your mind. You get it out of your head. Because once you get it out of your head, you stop ruminating. Ruminating will kill your process. Ruminating will kill and take away from your movement forward because then you just start staring at things instead of actually looking and then moving forward. So you purge, you do a brain dump onto a piece of paper. I've done that on a whiteboard here. I've made some stuff up. I've made a list here. Uh, completely arbitrary. This isn't my real list. It's just something for purposes of demonstration. I've written on here exercise, write, remodel the house, find a new job, get a new car, date with your wife. It could be anything on here at all from create a new magic trick in my case to uh, recording a video for Dan to recording uh, the film that I'm, I'm going to post for tomorrow on Sunday to finding a new car or rearranging furniture in the backyard, cleaning out my closet, whatever it is. You just get it out. Then you want to create a binary system. And the idea here is to take dilemmas out of your life, a dilemma means you can't choose, and creating options for yourself. And I do that by creating this binary code. And you're going to go through, for lack of a better way of saying this, and you're going to prioritize, but in a very visual way. So let's take the list that I just showed you. And for you know, purposes of this example, you're going to start at the top. These don't have to be in any order. They'll sort themselves out if you just follow what I'm showing you. First of all, you're just going to take two at a time. It's a binary system. Which is more important to me, exercise or writing? Well, health is everything for me, so exercise is more important. Exercise or remodeling the house. Exercise, exercise, or find a new job. Do you see I'm taking only two at a time? I'm not trying to hit the whole list at one time. If I try to do that, I'm inviting failure. I'm doomed to failure because then it's just overload. Exercise or new car, exercise or date with my wife. Well, guess what? A date with my wife is more important to me than exercise. That gets a one next to it. Exercise or right. I go back through the list again using what I have not already put a number down for. So exercise or right, exercise, exercise or remodel the house, exercise or find a new job, exercise, exercise or new car, well that gets a number two next to it. And then I continue through the list using the ones I haven't already chosen. So now it's right or remodel, uh, I'm going to choose right, right or find a new job, I'll choose right, right or get a new car, I'll choose right. That gets a three next to it. And you continue through, so remodel the house, find a new job, well, I'd rather remodel the house, remodel the house. Get a new car, I'd rather remodel the house, so that's going to get a four. 
and then we got find a new job, get a new car. Uh, let's just say I'll find a new car and then last on the list yeah, is find a new job. I've now got my priorities. I can still address all of them, but I don't have to address all of them at one time. I have, through instinct, intuition, my passion at the time, created a priority list that addresses every single want, need, and desire and has triaged them. And that's really what this is. It's about triaging your time. So when you say, uh, you know, which one to start with out of so many, you're gonna know once you, you complete this list. It's important for me to have romance. Love drives everything. So number one, it's gonna be, I'm gonna create it. I, I'm gonna manifest a date with my wife. That's what's gonna get most, if not all of my attention today in this example. Separating wants from needs. Well, it's great interesting inquiry because I don't draw that distinction. I mean, certainly we all need to have food and we need to stay healthy, things like that. I, I'm assuming, and I'm making an assumption here, that your question has a deeper meaning and it implies that you've got lots of things you want to do and you can't distinguish between a want and a need. I'm suggesting to you during this video, don't make that distinction. I don't distinguish between a want and a need. As a matter of fact, my family will tell you, I constantly joke that if I want something, I need it, and if I need something, I want it. I'm asking you, for purposes of this explanation, assume that mindset. And then finally, being realistic. Really? I don't want you being realistic. I want you being playful, and I want you to imagine the impossible. As you go through this list and use that binary code that I just taught you, you're going to necessarily rewire, reprogram, and reboot how you view your list of things that you want to achieve, the outcomes that you want, and they will all become realistic because you're going to have put them in an order of priority and have vetted them through your system in a, in a way that works. So I know this has been down and dirty. I will expand upon this in another Sunday session. Take what I've, I've given you already, dig deep, dig profoundly, and then I want you to post how this works for you. After you do that brain dump, that brain purge, you get everything out. Uh, you don't worry about an order of priority, you just get it out of your head. And then, and only then, you go through and do that binary system. I trust that this is gonna help move you forward. I can't wait to hear uh, how you commit to a new order of goals. Have a great day.